Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Before I talk to you about how a um, demon spoke to my mother and what exactly the demon said, I want to first encourage you to go down to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, Muslim man died, m met Jesus, and then like he, he converted. Um, if you just go down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a comment with a lot of evidence for Christianity, whether it's fulfilled Bible prophecy, whether it's facts from the Bible that have been verified by modern science, whether it's the preservation of the Bible, and like supernatural experiences, near-death experiences that give evidence to why Christianity is true. If you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, um, please read the evidence I present, examine it. And if you're a Christian, I also encourage you to read the evidence and please spread this evidence. You can print this out and post it on social media. You can copy and paste this on your under your YouTube channel, on your YouTube videos. And you can print it out and give it to people if you want. Do with it as you please. And also in the description box of my videos, I have a message about end times and fulfilled Bible prophecy and warnings. Please check those out. And also in the description box, I'll include the visions to how I saw God. And since I've seen God through supernatural visions, I can testify He exists. And I'll include the links to my testimonials in the description box of the video as well. Okay, before I talk to you about how what the demon told me, um, I want to remind you how the enemy works through people. So let's say if you're a Christian and you're saved and your parents are Christian, but they're not saved. Either they're lukewarm or they're not serious about the faith, whether they don't really care about God or Jesus. I mean, that gives the enemy like a foothold to work through your parents. And in my case, that's the situation with me, right? So the enemy can use your family members to attack you. So it's not just the fact that demons will will get like will will send you like corrupt thoughts, corrupt images, and it's not that they will just enter your dreams. They they, they can go a little further and they can use people around you to attack you. So I want to give you a little background. So the, the, that's what the enemy has been trying to do. The enemy has been using my parents to attack me, right? So every time the and the enemy the enemy knows me better than I know myself. And since I've seen demons, I know they are real. And I'll include a link to my demonic encounters in the description box of the video. So the enemy knows me, right? And they know exactly what to say through certain people to like get me mad either and get me to sin, whether it's to disrespect my parents, whether it's to go out in anger, whatever it may be. Demons know me like the back of my hand and they know me better than I know myself to say. And especially through my mother, the enemy knows exactly what to say through my mom to cause me to sin. So I just had it. I mean, I, 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 it's like every day I was waking up and I was falling into sin because of something the demon would say through my mom, right? And I just had it. I'm like, you know what? You know what, mom? I told my mom, I'm like, I'm not going to talk to you like for a certain period of time. I'm like, I'm not talking to you because I was tired of sinning. I was tired of falling into sin. Because I could not control my anger because the enemy knew exactly what buttons to push. So I'm like, mom, I'm not going to talk to you, right? So for a period of time, I didn't talk to her, right? And everything was going good. Like, I, like I, I, I don't mean I didn't talk to her in that. I don't mean like disrespect by her, but to disrespect her. I didn't want to disrespect her like that. But I just, that's the best for me was not to talk to her. So I won't fall into sin through that uh, hold the enemy had on her, right? And... So for a period of time, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I mean, I felt good in that, um, in that I wasn't falling into sin, right? I wasn't getting angry. I wasn't disrespecting my parents and saying certain things, right? I was just keeping quiet, trying my best, just keeping quiet, not falling into sin, right? And so for a period of time, it was working out. And then I was on my couch, right? And I was on my phone. And all of a sudden, and my mom was, I wasn't even looking at my mom and just, my mom was drinking coffee or something. All of a sudden I heard, I wasn't even talking with my mom. I was doing my own thing. She was doing her own thing, right? All of a sudden, my mom said, just, just spoke out loud. She's not like, um, he won't talk to us. He has cursed us. And I'm translating what she said. And I can't give you word by word translation of exactly what my mom said. Because if I give you a word-by-word -word translation, it won't make sense in English. The closest translation I could I could come up with in English is that he won't talk to us. He has cursed us. And like right off the bat, 
these these flags went up in my mind and I'm like, yo, that was a demon that just spoke through my mom. And what the meaning of that is, is that since the demon could not talk to me through my mom, the demons could not get me to sin through my mom. And remember, demons that are assigned to Christians, they demons try to cause you to sin, right? So when they can't do their job, the devil chastises them. So when the demon said that he has cursed us, like, because they can't get me to sin through my mom in that period, right? It's like, um, that's bad for them because they're going to be chastised by the devil for that. And like, when my mom said that, like, right off the bat, I'm like, yo, that was just a demon that spoke through my mom. And, and like, my discernment, I was like, like, it was kind of like, it was weird. I, I didn't really know what to feel about it. And... Yeah, so basically, that was, it was pretty crazy now, just remembering what happened, like, and that's not the first time that I've, that I can say I've heard, like, the, like, a demon speak through people. I mean, there have been other times, too, that, but it wasn't as clear, it wasn't as to the point like this, because think about it, why would my mom say, he has cursed us, and she, and she said us, she didn't say, he has cursed me, he won't talk to us, right, and that's because, um, the demons that were assigned to me and the, the, the buttons they know to press that when I was not communicating with my mother, um, they couldn't get me to sin through her. So that was, um, yeah, that's, they, they pretty much failed. They failed at trying to get me to sin through my mom. And that's why they said he has cursed us. Like I did damage to them because they're going to be chastised for it. And like I said, um, this time, um, I did not see demons, but before I've seen demons, in the past, I've seen them, and I'll include a link to my demonic encounters in the description box. But, yeah, this time, I just knew straight off the bat that was a demon that just spoke through my mother. And I want to also, guys, um, ask you guys to pray for my mom also. I want her to be saved, and please pray for her. Keep her in, keep her in your prayers, and that's what I wanted to tell you guys today. Thank you for listening. All glory to God.